True AGI, it's been an exciting year. And it's been an exciting year because of so much to see for next year. I mean, this is 2021, I would say, was a real prepper for what's to come. And if it's half as exciting as it was in 21, 22 is gonna be a fantastic year. So we're really optimistic. I mean, we think it is an, a, an evolving approach. You know, eventually when true AGI, when AGI comes about, there might be exponential growth. We don't know, but we're hoping that we roll out like an evolutionary experience for the enterprises. So our main goal is to develop general intelligence for the enterprises. So wrap what's being developed on the R&D team and OpenCog, Alexei, and, and all of the fabulous, amazing minds. And, and I think, uh, Jan, you're correct that we do have the most experienced, most talented folks to get us to general intelligence, whether that be close to, at, or beyond human level. So it's, it's really exciting. It's a great team to work with. Uh, I mean, our goal is to, to customize and host and deploy general intelligence for the enterprises using either a subscription model or a license-based model. You know, we, we, we'd like to uh, work with the ecosystem, with the enterprise ecosystems to help them integrate general intelligence because it is a different form beyond what AI models are now. Nar narrow AI is, is what we're looking to leapfrog and, and get to that general intelligence. And by doing such, we know we're going to have to educate and help along the process of getting it into the ecosystems of the enterprise. So our, our established way of doing a decentralized type of approach is unique to the centralized platforms out there. What I kind of coin as BTES, which is our ability to provide general intelligence in a benevolent, trustful, ethical, safe, and secure manner, I think is very critical to what we, we bring to the ecosystem. Now, whether that be from virtual assistants to companions to pattern discovery for research to prediction models in the DeFi space, there's there's about 12 different market segments that we're looking at in the community. And that's the communities that use AI services. So within that large market space, which was I think around 60 billion in 2020, 35% of that is, is AI services. So there's there's a lot of existing opportunities out there for a higher level level of intelligence beyond what AI is creating now. And again, I think going forward, you know, our ability to execute and the experience that we have in, in the ecosystem of our internal teams and collaborators is, is significant. A lot of partners to, to talk about, I'm not going to really name them, but there is a big ecosystem behind True AGI. You know, we're a spinoff of Singularity Net. But that whole ecosystem and all of the Singularity Net partners are coming along the ride in 2022. And it's it's looking like it's gonna be a fantastic year. So I'm really excited in, in the corporate growth of True AGI for 2022 as well. We have a lot of uh, plans for internal growth, both in terms of the breadth of the vision of what we're trying to bring on to the team and then the depth of the team as well. So as we accelerate our R&D in, in early 2022, you're, we're gonna see uh, advancements into specific pilot programs that we have with some client potent, potential clients and, and corporate infrastructure right now. And that includes you know, AGI in terms of research and development and the SaaS based models and architectures that we're developing, the training ecosystem that is being worked within the OpenCog community. So there's there's a lot of lot of excitement uh, to to happen in the uh, beginning of 2022. And I guess the the couple of things that are coming up soon, in terms of milestones, we have three big demonstrations that are going to occur. One is demonstration uh, within Minecraft. There's actually two subsets of that, and then there's also the advancement of OpenCog. Hyperon. So as we develop, we get to pre-alpha, alpha, and to a, to a beta of OpenCog or OpenCog Hyperon. Those communities that are supporting the OpenCog development uh, are are a big uh, added benefit to our ecosystem as well. So as we come out with MVPs as early as maybe 2023, the support that the community can provide into the OpenCog development 
is critical. It's a third arm of, of what I consider the R&D uh, infrastructure.